What's up everyone welcome back to another video and this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix the Valorant Windows cannot access the specified device error and how we can fix this app so let me directly get into this step. So the first and foremost step so if you find the Valorant we need to run it as an administrator and also we need to run as a disabled full screen optimization as well. So to do this just go over here in the Valorant on the desktop right click on this icon go for show more options and go to the properties. Go for compatibility and make sure that you put a check on disable full screen optimization and also you put a check on run this program as an administrator as well. Once you put a check on both these boxes you have to go for ok and you have to move to the next step. Next step is all about we need to create a shortcut for the Valorant. So to create a shortcut just right click over here and go for over here to the show more options and you can directly navigate to new from here go for shortcut and now click on the browse item to go for this pc go to local list c now from here go to write games now from here get to write client and select this one and we need to open and we need to add it so right now a shortcut will be created and from here get into this and launch the valorant and you have to check this might be working in most cases and you have to do this in some users this even if it's still it's not working we can directly move to the next step Next up is all about we need to add the Valorant or the Riot Guard or even in the Riot Client services to the Windows security. So just go over here, search for the control panel and we need to click on this one. And right now directly navigate to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow and airport feature through Windows Defender Firewall and keep scrolling down, make sure the Riot Client is added. So right now if you check you can see the Riot Client is added, but they failed to mention or put a check on both the boxes private and public. So let me do one thing, if the right client is available, you can just put a check on both these boxes. If it is not available, we need to remove the right client and we need to add it like a fresh one. So to add the right client, just click on allow another app, go for the browse, navigate to the installation folder, that is this PC, go to local list C, write games. Now from here, we need to get into the right client and we have to select this one and go for open and add it. Once it is added, just go over here, put a check on these two boxes, private and public. Once afterwards, just close this and we have to move to the next step. Next step is all about, we need to go over here, we need to run the CMD and we need to run it as an administrator and go for yes. Now we need to type SC space delete, over here we need to type delete VGK, that's what you have to type and VGC and you have to press enter. Next one SC put a space delete over here, then we need to type VGK, that's what you have to type and put an enter. So you can see both the delete services successfully done. Once afterwards, you have to check with the Valorant. Still, if there is an issue, what we need to do is we just need to go over here, go to the file explorer, navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go for the program file x86. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to find the right wine card. If you find the right wine card, what we need to do is we just need to delete it. Once you successfully deleted it, you have to check. The last and the least of this all about, we need to go over here in the right client and you have to check with the right client if there is any kind of pending updates is available while trying launching the Valorant. So if you're having any kind of pending updates and all those things, just make sure that you update it. From the right client itself, you should not be going anywhere else, just go over here. And right now you can see the there is an update option, just go over here. Now you can directly go over here, go for the update and once it is successfully updated, you are fine with it. Most probably after update, when you try to launch the game, you'll not be having these kind of issue. I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click with the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye bye.